hello it's Sarah and I'm back up in the bedroom with another milk glass share I went to an antique store yesterday <clears throat> there are a couple around us down in Smithville there's still a couple that I can just go to at my leisure because I have to stop my it's funny my son's my son made this name you're fiending. He kept saying, you're fiending. And that means like I was a fiend. I was just, I couldn't stop thinking about milk glass. And it's crazy. Like I do, I get like excited. Well, I just start scrolling through all the eBay stuff and I Google certain things and then you see them and you're like, oh, oh, oh. And anyway, all right, this is what I got. Now, antique stores obviously are not thrift stores or no way are they Goodwill. So paid a little more. I went in with 50 bucks and each of these was marked 14 and she did give them to me for 10. Um, these two are Fenton. I've, I've been doing research. This is, is actually a cigarette holder, which is so funny. I just think that's hysterical. Like I grew up during smoking, like my, both my parents smoked. I smoked for seven years. Thank God I quit, but I've always wanted one of these little top hats and I saw it. And it's called um, Daisy and Button Pattern Top Hat. And it is Fenton. Um, so that was pretty... I didn't know it was Fenton. I just knew I liked the top hat. So she gave me that for 10 There's a littler one that's for toothpicks that I probably will get eventually. But I really want to wait and not fiend and get it for a good price. Because that's the fun too. You want to find what you want, but you want to get it for like a steal. All right. Obviously, this is Fenton. This is called the uh, Silver Crested Milk Glass Footed Bowl. So I have the, this is actually called a bonbon plate, I found out. And it's the Silver Crested Fenton. I got this at the thrift store the other day. So that was exciting, like I was happy. I'm liking the Fenton. I actually do prefer the darker color glass. It's milkier and one of my subbies, and I wish I could remember her name, uh, she said, this is, this is whole milk and the other pieces are 1% or skim. You know, it's funny, but that's how I think of it. And I like, I drink 2%, but, <laughs> but I like, I love the bright white, white milk glass. That's what I like. So possibly instead of just grabbing everything, I'm going to be a little more selective. Plus it's room. Um, I don't have room for all of it either. Um, but I am starting to see places that I could put some here and there around the house. And I do love it. I think it's beautiful. Like it pops on the dark furniture, especially. So it's fun. I'm enjoying it. Um, I'm not going to use it for candy stations. I mean, at the holidays and stuff like that, I think I might bring out some pieces and put candy in, obviously, real candy, because my family loves candy. Anywho, so I got this piece for 10. It was marked 14, but I just liked it. I don't have a lot of lidded pieces, and it's got the feet and everything, and so I looked this one up, and this one is called, where did I write it? Oh boy, Fenton Vintage. Well, this definitely, this little hen is by Westmoreland, and it's a um, mini hen on a nest. That's called the Westmoreland mini hen on the nest, and it was $10. Like, I was shocked, but, I mean, because it is a bit different. It's a different, you know, piece. And then, let's see, the Cruet Silver Crested. What the heck? I had it right here. The Imperial Grapevine Leaf Compote Bowl. No, that's not it, because it has feet. I have it written down, but you know what, guys? I want to show you something over here. So we're going to walk over here slowly to my area. And look what's up there. I got my lamp. <laughs> anyway, this I got, it was $69, but I got her to sell it to me for $40. And hubby sprayed it because it was like, it almost looked like it had, um, silver findings on it it was so dirty so that's like the fun of it too cleaning it up and i this is a big place and i had to hunt for it and that was like the only lamp i saw and we actually flipped this we took it apart because you had to paint it and we flipped this piece this was facing up 
and it was full of dust and I thought that's just a dust catcher so we flipped it and put it down which I like like we played around then we like lowered this down so you don't see as much of that I'm gonna turn it on and see what oh gosh what it looks like see if I can get it to focus it's bright I guess that's like a 60 watt in there I love it though I'm happy with it at first you know you get like uh, should I have done it like I think that's so worth forty dollars though like you can buy a lamp for forty dollars at you know an, uh, like a real brand new lamp not a so anyway I'm loving it I think it's missing the little like hurricane part that goes the glass part that goes in the like where the bulb is and comes out the top but I can always pick that up I'll pick one of them up and um but I'm so excited so that's my whole little area now and I'm finding so much out about the brands um a lot of people I think on eBay put things like what it is they what are they what brand they think it is and it's not or whatever so I double check I'm trying to okay here so the lamp is hazel atlas that's what i'm thinking because if you look at it well you can't see it at this angle there's like there's a swirly thing on top like this okay like that okay this is what this is just a little bowl i have and this is by hazel atlas um, glass company so i'm guessing those pieces are by hazel atlas now I'm also seeing that you can buy pieces like this with holes in them and stuff. Maybe people are putting together their own lamps and stuff. I really don't know. Like we totally altered that. We altered it and like made it like we put the, the part that holds the lampshade down lower. Like how it was, it was like really tall and weird. So we kind of made it squatter so that it wasn't as top heavy and I don't know. Like I... I love it though. I'm so happy with it. Like I just really, really love it. So anyway, um, I had a happy Christmas. I really don't need to, <laughs> I got to get off the, the milk glass thing and just wait. And I'm going to go to Salvation Army, um, stuff like that. I've never been to a Salvation Army. We don't happen to have one near here. So um, let me see if I can find the other name of the, um, I wrote it down. I'm getting two different things. Now they're saying, I thought this was Westmoreland, but now it's saying it's Indiana Glass Company. Sometimes it comes up with Imperial. So I'm not sure what this was. I, I think I thought it was uh, Imperial. Originally I thought it was Westmoreland. I don't know. But all this stuff, like cause, because the snack plate comes up with Indiana Glass. This is Indiana Glass. These are Indiana Glass. This is Indiana Glass. So I think this is Indiana glass, but sometimes it says um, Imperial. So I'm not sure. I know it's not Fenton <laughs> and a lot of it is Anchor Hawking. So um, I wanna go back over here and see if I have the notes for this piece because I definitely found it. And I just look for, um, look for the piece and then, sorry, I have more notes. <laughs> it's fun, I just get on my iPad and I just Google. All right, here it is. The Westmoreland, this is Westmoreland. So isn't that weird? Because this looks like the same pattern. I mean, it's dark in here. I'm gonna bring it over. But this says it's a Westmoreland milk glass paneled grape three-toe candy dish. Let's compare to, I think a lot of companies did the grapes for some reason. And I also found out like Fenton bought all the when a certain glass company, and I don't remember what it was, and I'm running out of time, they bought all their molds. So Fenton then started making the glass from a certain company anyway, but they do it responsibly. Fenton's a good company. All right, you guys, I'm so excited. I just wanted to show you my lamp especially. I'm so happy. Happy Christmas to me. I mean, 40 bucks. I mean, that's pretty good. That's a big lamp. It's at least 22 inches tall. All right, I got to go. Thanks for watching.